Alright, welcome back guys. So in this one we're going to take a look at how we can use custom fonts inside of our navigation bar and inside of Xcode in general. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so let's first open up Xcode and we'll create a new Xcode project and it'll be a single view application. And let's call it something like custom fonts in navbar and we'll click next and we'll create. And now before we do anything else, we just want to hop into FontBook here. And every Mac has this application installed by default. And I just downloaded this house grind uh, font from the internet. And then right here you can see the preview of it. Um, basically I just downloaded the file and unzipped it and installed it in here. So now we can use it inside our application. So to do that, we actually look at the downloads folder. And right here is the font.ctf file itself. If we just drag this into our project, <clears throat> And make sure you click this target right here, um, or any target you want to add it to, but this one right here for this default project or new project, and we'll click finish. And if you can see right here, now we have the uh, font right here. So now what we want to do is we actually want to go into our info.plist file and add this font to our um, file right here. So if we go down, if we scroll down to font provided by application, and we we'll click this you can see it adds this item by default and we actually just want to put the name of this in right here so if we click on the text file and we just copy this whole name up here and there we go just like that now we can go back into our storyboard and let's close this and we first want to embed this view controller in a navigation controller so editor embed navigation controller and now that'll just give us our nav bar at the top here of this view controller. All right, so let's actually jump into our view controller. And inside our view did load, we're going to create a few different things. So the first one is going to be a label. So let's say let first label equal UI label like that. And then we'll say first label dot text equals uh, we'll just say first and then we'll say first label dot font is equal to UI font and we'll call this one right here and um, let's actually go to let's call it I think it's called house grind and then size we'll call it we'll just put 30 First label dot text color is equal to dot white. Sorry, is equal to UI color dot white. And then lastly for this, we need first label dot size to fit. All right, so basically what we're doing here is in order to get a custom font uh, up in here, you need to access the title view. So down in, so in here we're first creating a, a label and it's going to be the first part of our title. So that's why it has first here. And we need to set the font so we have our custom font which is that house grind. And then since we're using that title view, by default the title will be black. So we need to set this color to white. And then size to fit, we'll just get the uh, width of that first label. And, you see what, and you'll see here in a moment why that's important. So next we're going to do the exact same thing, but just with the second label, which is going to be the second part of our title. So let's just say let second label equal UI label, second label dot text is equal to, let's we'll say second, second label dot font is equal to UI font name and so let's just go into here and pick a, a font uh, let's see here so let's just drag in the label and look at the fonts that we can choose so if we go up into custom let's just select uh, all right this Futura looks cool or Futura so if we go back into our view controller, we'll just put in Q 
Tora like that, and the size will just leave at 30. And the same thing again for the colors, the second label dot text color is equal to UI color dot white. And then second label dot size to fit. So now that we have um, the first and second part of our title created, we're actually going to put them together in a stack view, in a horizontal stack view, and then we're going to add that stack view to the title view of the navigation bar. So to do that, let's first create the variable. So let stack view equal UI stack view. And we'll say range subviews. And this will take an array. So in here, we can just pass first label, comma, second label, like that. And that'll create the stack view. So now we want to set the stack views axis. So stack view dot axis. So we'll actually delete this and then stack view dot axis is equal to dot horizontal stack view dot frame dot size dot width. So now we actually want to create the stack views width. And if you know that we added this first label and second label to the stack view, then you better figure out that the width of the stack view should just be the width of the first label and the second label combined or added together. So width is equal to first label dot frame dot width plus second plus second label dot frame dot width just like that. And uh, similarly, we need to do something for the height, and it's a little different, so we'll call stack view dot frame dot size dot height. And so this, the reason that the height is going to be a little bit different is, uh, depending on what font you're using, you don't really know how tall the font is, even if you set this size to the same thing. Fonts just vary on how high and how long they are. So um, we just want to set the title view's height to the max of these two fonts. So we can use the function max, and we'll just compare first label dot frame dot height, and then we'll compare it to the second label dot frame dot height. Okay, so all we need to do then is just add this stack view to our navigation item. So it's the navigation item dot title view is equal to stack view. So let's actually run this application and see what it looks like. All right, and now that you see that it ran, let me actually change the uh, color of this nav bar. So if we go to the navigation controller and just click up in this nav bar, uh, we should be able to change the bar color to, let's just make it like a dark gray. Now if we run the application again, All right, so this time you can see clearly that the first part of our, uh, let me jump back into view controller. So the first part of our title up here is our house grind font. And you, as you can see what I was saying earlier, even though the sizes are both 30, this second feature font is much taller. Um, but yeah, there you go guys. So that's how you would change the title view and set the title to two different fonts or segment the font. Um, and that's basically how you use custom fonts and Xcode all together. If you enjoyed, please like, and I'll catch you next time.